guys that you either have to take a large step because you got that forward lean, your feet are behind, your hands are in front. At what point do you penetrate the line of scrimmage? Well, okay. Um, at what point do you penetrate the line of scrimmage? Um, you, you have to either you have to be very, you have to be very much under control. That's why we're discussing control drills. So as you take, you either have to take a large step to stop yourself from falling over, or as you take a small step and, and you elevate your hips to keep your hips in and out. So that's how we're going to control it. Um, this is core, this uh, first drill we're going to do is called Iron Core. So what we're going to do is going to get our feet, our, our, a good base, you know, our feet are about 45 degrees a piece, uh, you know, just outside shoulders, shoulder width, like we discussed. Elbows inside. We're going to have our hands at about 90 degrees. We call this, I call this position guard position. Um, similar to like, you know, if we're boxing or something in martial arts, we want to have our hands up to protect our face. In this case, we're protecting our chest. So and we're also capable of coming low to high. So all these principles are, are applicable. They all kind of tie together. So Steven's got his hands in guard. And what I'm going to do, if you notice his feet are good, he's got a good base, his low back's arched. He's got his good posture. I like to kind of flex my lats a little bit, but I'm, I'm nice and tight, but I can snap. I can snap and I can move multi-directionally with power. So right now what we're gonna do is this is a great partner drill to develop that pressure response we want for the core, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hands, put together, uh, Steve, Steven's got his hands together as well, and I'm simply gonna apply, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply pressure, lateral direction pressure with my core. He's gonna resist. If I let go, the hand should not snap back. So this is a drill that you can do, so we're gonna go here, All right, so you want to keep that the hands in the center line. It's just something that you can adjust the pressure with. Take it to the next step here. Marshall's going to come try. So as I'm going here, I'm going to, I'm going to add a, another force to him. So don't uh, move back a little bit. Yeah. All right, so I'm applying pressure left and right. Now I'm going to come with pressure here. Marshall's going to lift me up. So he's going left and right. He's dealing with pressure. All of a sudden, he's going to bring his hips, okay? They drill to develop the hip explosion. So go back a little bit. One more time. So we like to do it in a progression. I would, I would recommend doing this. Provide, you know, giving them the lateral response first. You should have all that weight in the instep. So you're kind of, your whole core is tight, you're grounded. And you've got um, all your kinetic chain is incorporated in this movement. So it's not like a shoving of the arms. You'll see players do this a lot. Don't do this. Don't let them do this. This is just obviously not what we're looking for. Keep it inside the frame, okay? Where we're really powerful is within the frame. So. I'm gonna bring, pop, bring some uh, pressure from this way. And again, Marshall should not snap his hands, so push on me, Marshall. So if he lets go, that's, that's what, not what we're looking for, right? We wanna be able to respond to that pressure in time, in good time. So again, one more time. If you pick me up off the ground just by that, by bringing his hips, okay? It's called the iron core drill. The next thing we can do as an add-on, not really uh, related to this, more of like a bull rush add-on piece, so if I'm gonna give Marshall pressure here, he's gonna lift me, okay? I'm gonna come here and he's gonna hop, hop, okay? So you get to hop, and it's all about, you know, bringing your hips in and out of extension flexion, okay? And keeping a good posture. All right, the next drill is called the hook drill. Another hip development drill for lifting guys. I'm gonna teach that. Now this, this drill is great for 